What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to another episode of Random Thoughts. If you don't know, this is a series where I literally just talk about anything that's going on in America today. We're going to talk about what I think about the Capitol Hill breach that happened yesterday. So basically, if, if you're not American, if you don't live in the United States or you've just been under a rock, yesterday, <clears throat> pro-Trump supporters, they gathered up in some big mob. They attacked the U.S. Capitol. Like, they ran up on the U.S. Capitol. They stormed past police, they stormed past barricades, they assaulted police, they ran up in the, they ran up in the building, they ran up in the, uh, in the Capitol, they were ransacking all the stuff, they were taking, they were sitting down at the Speaker of the House's desk, and then, and the, the crazy thing is, like, a couple minutes earlier, uh, the current Vice President, Mike Pence, and the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, they were all there, like, they were basically, because, like, this is the, the transition period between the Donald Trump era and the Joe Biden era. So, they're trying to transition everything over to that. So, then, yet, so yesterday, apparently, they felt the need to go and attack and go to ransack and destroy. And, and of course, you know, you, you, America does it again. The United States does it again. I'm telling you, we as a country, we are the king of race i'm not saying the united states is responsible but who i feel like a lot of these situations are just literally just bait like they throw out bait like they'll like whoever is in charge of this thing will just throw out a situation like last year like this summer like last summer george floyd situation now we got the, the thing it's a race bait situation they just see how people react and it's more di again it's more division because you got the black people talking about oh See, if they were black, they would have got killed. See, you see what happens? They did the, the, the white people get to go in there unharmed. They, they just, they literally just, the cops were taking pictures with the white people. Look at this. And then you got the white people. Well, well what about Black Lives Matter? What, what happened in Minnesota when you looted and destroyed all those buildings? What happened then? Uh, you, you, you're looting. And it, listen, 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 listen. I'm going to take, I'm going to take. I'm gonna take the the one approach is like the literal approach. Like I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna literally look at the situation how it is, and I'm gonna then I'm gonna identify it in another way. The literal approach. You, while I do not agree, like I said in the last video I did about the George Floyd situation, I didn't agree with the looting. I didn't feel like looting and destroying your own community was the best response to the situation. But. These situations are, comp this situation and the Capitol Hill situation are completely different. The reasons behind it are completely different. While, even though you did have some people out there in Minnesota or whoever was protesting, they were out there just to destroy stuff and just to, and just to, to kick stuff in. And, and even though there were instigators among the crowd just throwing rocks and windows and destroying stuff, just because they could do it. You know what I mean? Obviously, everything was not perfect, but the main premise of the of of the uh, of the protest was to like voice their hurt against, like, to voice their opinion against police brutality, against the unfair treatment of minorities by police in America. That was their message. The Capitol Hill message. This message gave me, oh, our Lord and Savior Donald Trump lost. So we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna throw a, a temper tantrum. And we're gonna run up in the Capitol building like a little bunch of like a bunch of five year olds. Like there was no real just talking about we're gonna start a revolution. What revolution? What see the only like I'm I'm really indifferent about these about a lot of these people in the presidency, but Trump, the reason why I am like I feel a really weird type of way about him because look at the type of people that he inspired. Look at the type of look at the type of people that his words and his actions have like in in incited look look at the type look at the type of this dude has a literal cult of trump people i've never seen so many flag people have flags people people they people wear flags people wear they all wear the same red hat like they're in a cult they got the flags, they got the hats, they got the stickers, they got the shirts, they got the bumper, they got the bumper stickers on their cars. They got 
and they got everything in their Instagram, in their social media bios, Trump 2020, Trump, 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 Trump make America great. Like, that's literally some, that's cult. That's very cultish behavior. This man literally raised a cult. And then he had the nerve to talk about how the election, we, 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 they're rigging, and they're still rigging the election while the people who supposedly and support you are ransacking and destroying the Capitol building. You know, this, the, the hypocrisy is crazy. The whole situation is crazy. That's my literal approach. The real approach is this situation was staged. <laughs> this situation was staged. This is extremely staged because there's no way. And you can't say, oh, because they were white. They were, no, you can't. You were, were, I'm, not, I'm not buying the race agreement. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I'm not, I'm not buying it. There's no way. That police just willingly let people walk into the U.S. Capitol and there's nobody guarding the U.S. Capitol. I don't believe it. I don't. Because if you were, if you remember, some dude tried to walk on the lawn of the United, on, 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 the, on the White House, they shot him. I think there was a lady that tried to walk on the White House lawn and they shot her. And they were both white. There's, like, race has no correlation in this. You, there's no way that police assigned to a government building let random attackers go into a government building. And then now they have they have pictures of certain dominant figures that were that are like the dude who was wearing the uh, the buffalo, whatever, the little buffalo thing. Apparently, he's some type of he's some type of some type of businessman somewhere. So they exposed him like. Is this, this man? He look, that looked like some paid actor type stuff. You know, you know what I mean? Like I'm telling you. Like, why do we have so many different? Like, this is what they do. They'll, they'll give you a whole bunch of information overload, and you won't know, and you won't know which one to process. So you have to choose. Like, on the one hand, you got a cop being scared. You got a cop running. You got cops running scared. On the next hand, you got cops taking pictures with the people who are who just who just hopped in the the. the the Capitol building like it was nothing. And then you had the one boy, boy, photo where the black dude is Carol. Notice how they say it. Notice, no, notice the placement. How the black dude is being swarmed by a mob of white protesters. And he keeps backing away. He won't He won't pull out his gun. He won't do anything. He won't. You see, this this, 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 this seems so just it, just... it just... Everything just seems so just odd. Like they they were people people were scaling the walls, people were just enraged. Like that, that bro, it, it seems like. And then people, then then all of a sudden they got people. People were they were wearing the Auschwitz shirts. If you know you don't know Auschwitz was the site where the most um, Jews were 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 killed during the Holocaust. And then they then they got a, a, a video of somebody trying to reenact what happened to George Floyd. It's like. They were trying to do this to get black people mad. They were just trying to trigger people. You know what I'm saying? It just it, they, it just seems real fishy to me. You know what I'm saying? It seems extremely fishy. That was my literal approach. Now, th this, this is probably the, the best thing that I'm going to say in this entire video. I'm talking to minorities right now. I'm talking to the minorities. Stop saying that the system is to blame for everything. Please stop blaming the system. I promise, please stop. Everything in life is a choice. You know what I'm saying? Everything in life is a choice. You keep blaming, you keep you keep listening to the mainstream media and all that. You keep watching all these stories of black people getting beat up in the streets and black people getting destroyed and minorities getting discriminated against and uh, all the, the discrimination against the, uh, against the Middle Eastern people after 9-11 and discrimination against Hispanics, discrimination against, you keep believing that stuff, you won't, you, 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 see, you keep sitting in that victim mindset, you'll never progress as a person, you'll never progress, you keep believing, if you keep believing what the media tells you about how black people are just inevitably doomed by the system, how society is just cursed black people, how we'll, we'll never be great, we'll never be good, we're always, we'll always be second best. We'll always be subpar. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you see, you see how defeating those thought, those words are like, that's defeating language. Like you're already defeated. If you keep uttering that language, 
And it's, it's the older people that it's the older people that, that that spew that language a lot of times, and it, it, it's not helpful to anybody. You you keep hearing if you keep hearing somebody tell you over and over and over again that you'll never be as good as your peers, or you'll never be good because of the color of your skin or because of this or because of that, you're gonna be defeated. You never you're never gonna think. You're never gonna think for you. like that's why I keep telling you, think for yourself. Stop being a sheep. Stop listening to all these media outlets. Stop listening. Go read a book. Go go online and research. Go talk to some people. Go learn. Stop just taking in information. Go find information. That's how you learn. You find information. If you keep getting fed information, that's not learning. You just that's indoctrination. <laughs> You're just getting indoctrinated. If you keep getting fed information, learn information. That's the best way to that's the best way to increase your chances of living a good life. You learn by yourself. That's the best. That's the only thing for real. Like the victimhood mindset is so that de- is so pain is so detrimental to to growth. You know what I'm saying? I keep like I said before, it's not black and white. It's not black versus white. It's not black versus white. It's us versus the system. The system would love nothing more than to have a race war to dis to to dispel mass chaos. And you know the the term. With chaos comes order. I mean, I don't know what type of order will come from this chaos, but I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? So regardless of your race, regardless of your ethnicity, regardless of where you come from, take the information that the mainstream media is giving you, take it with a grain of salt. If I don't tell you, if I, if I don't tell you nothing else, take what's being fed to you by a grain of salt. Like I think I heard this thing it says, but the saying is believe Believe half of what you see and none of what you hear. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm telling you, man, you have to look, do your own research. Stop believing those false narratives about, about black people just being victims of society. We're all just victims. And like, you keep believing you're a victim, you'll never prosper. You'll never, you'll never prevail. You know what I'm saying? That's the most practical thing I can give you. But in other words, the attack is very shameful. Very shameful. I'm telling you, man. Donald Trump is going out sad. That's all I'm going to say. I don't, I don't, I'm not getting too political. That's all I need to say. To say what I say, get out the way. Anyway, thank you again. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed this uh, little talk. Hit that subscribe button. Feel free to talk now in the comments. I'm responding to comments. Whatever you say, just don't, don't, don't be on no, please don't be on no extra hateful, oh, N-word, N-word, N-word type stuff. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to read that. I'm probably going to block you. But anyway... <laughs> Anyway, thank you again. Please be safe. Have a great day. Remember, think for yourself. I'm out. Peace.